Hi everyone, here's a quick video on using the Magic Cut to do a layer mask in Photopia or Photop. All right, so let's go ahead and start off by finding an image. And I already have a dolphin image pulled up over here on the right side, and I can see that it's a thousand pixel wide. That's a good dimension for the sake of this project. So let's go ahead and copy this image URL, the location where this image lives on the, uh, on the internet. Copy image address, and that was, again, right click, copy image address. And I'm going to come over here to Photopia, and I am going to, at this moment, go full screen. And let's go ahead and open up this dolphin. I'm going to go to File. Instead of Open, I don't have the image saved to my device. So I'm going to go to Open More, Open from URL. And I'm going to be able to paste, Control V. And that highlights and insert, uh, copies my the image address. And I'm actually going to bring this as a new project. I don't want to place it on top of my current project. I'm going to bring it into a new file. So let's go ahead and click on this, a new project. And OK. And as you can see, I've got multiple images. I got the, uh, the Glamis sand dunes here and my dolphins here on a different separate file. All right. And Photopia does a really good job at using what they call this magic cut. So up at the top, select magic cut. And this takes a little while for the computer. Oh, hey, for the website, sorry, to do some thinking. And it does a pretty amazing job right off the bat on doing a cutout it magically guesses what you are trying to cut out and it got it right. Now there are some things, if it doesn't do it correctly, if you need to add more to your cutout, you would come up to the green. Think of green as go. This is what it would add to it. So if you wanted to add some of this water to your layer mask, paint green in this area and it would select it all for the sake of this. This is exactly how I want it. So I'm gonna not do anything from here. Green will add to your selection, red will remove. Now, what I prefer to do is I'm not going to add this as a new layer. I'm going to add this as a raster mask. I don't want to, if I add a new layer, it just adds these dolphin pixels only. I prefer to keep everything and have it masked, okay? So this is a layer mask or a raster mask as they call it in Photopia. So change this to rast raster mask and click OK. Now, would you, oops, I should have made a copy of my background first. That didn't follow my own advice. I always make copies. I like to keep my original also. So here is my original picture, and this is the mask that's on top. Now, the way the masks work is, look here, the black is what covers my image. The white is what we see. Now, you got to make sure, let's, we're going to do some editing. Now, you got to make sure you're on the mask, not the image. See those dot, uh, dashed lines? There's the image. There's the mask. You got to make sure you are not on the image, but you're on the mask. And the way to edit this, I actually, I just want this one dolphin. So I'm going to manually uh, remove or basically mask this second dolphin. So the way we do that is by going to your brush. Just go to your brush. And by this point, you should be really good with brushes. Um, in Photopia, it's left bracket and right bracket, just like Photoshop, to increase and decrease the size of your brush. And just like in Pixlr, um, this one well, has hard or soft brush. A soft, if you take the hardness down, that makes it a soft, blurry brush. Okay, I want this to be actually a hard brush. Now, and we have to be on our default image colors, which are just black and white. If you click on this little black, little tiny black and white right here, change it to black and white. But, um, and we need to switch them. You can either click to switch them or I just prefer to hit X on my keyboard and you notice that black and white switches. So when you paint in black, again, look right here on the mask, the black part is what's covering. So when I paint in black, it actually, it acts as an eraser, but you're not really erasing it. You are just covering it up with the mask. Let's check this out. Let's just for a moment, I'm going to right click and disable the mask. So there you can see all my pixels are still there. The whole image is there, but we just turned off this mask. I'm going to right click and enable it. And there we got it turned back on. Now, again, back to what I was saying, to switch the black and white is X on the keyboard. That switches it. You can see in this bottom left corner, X. Now, if I paint in white, it reveals. It kind of like shows what's under the mask. Hit X again to black, and I'm going to and it's going to cover up. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in. Uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna hit, let's try the Z for zoom, and I'm going to click, click. I'm just using this magnifying glass, 
And spacebar, again, if you hold spacebar, it moves your image around. Um, control plus, I'm holding control with my thumb, control plus, control minus also work for your zoom tools. Spacebar, B for brush. Again, here's your B for brush tool. And left bracket, left bracket to make my brush smaller. And now I'm going to clean this up. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to, you don't have to watch me do this. Again, what I like about Photopia and Photoshop is if you click once, I know this is curved, and hold shift, it connects it in a straight line. So if you have something that's sort of straight, um, it does a really good job at making those straight covers. So I'm, going, I'm holding shift right now. Now remember, anytime something happens that you don't like, remember control Z. Oops, actually this needs, nope, that control Z. Yep, like right there. Click once, hold shift. And that's in a straight line. Uh, now that I'm kind of working on cleaning this up, I could go to a bigger brush and remove the rest. Not remove, sorry, cover up with the mask. Control minus, control minus. Okay, now that we have, well, this is not very good. But let me show you, if you go to your move tool right here, go to your move tool, which is V, shortcut is V on your keyboard. I can move this dolphin to another image by, I could click, drag up to the tab for the image I want. There you go, and it comes over to my Glamis Sand Dunes, and I could bring my dolphin in. All right, now to edit it though, I'm gonna go to image, transform, and, also, what works is Control T on your keyboard. Let me hit Escape, hit Enter. Let me apply that. Image Transform. Oh, where is it? Should have Free Transform, which is just Control T. We'll look at that later. Um, so again, you can just go Control T on your keyboard, and you can rotate, resize. Now, as a reminder. Make sure when you are resizing something, please make sure you hold shift. Always hold shift when you resize. That'll keep it in proportion. And another rule of thumb is you never want to take an image and stretch it bigger. Only make an image smaller. That's why it's best to start off with large images when you are finding them in Google Images, okay? And then once you're done, you have to apply the transformation by hitting Enter. And there we go. And there is our dolphin. Let's go ahead and uh, double click right here on the word background. And I'm gonna keep our file clean by calling this dolphin. All right, hope that helps using the um, magic cut to create a layer mask in Photopia. All right, have fun.